didn't, but Converse was really considered the athletic shoe. That over time, it started to become beginnings of Converse in pop culture. It was really uh, part of a lifestyle. Um, and so you wanted to make, you make sure that whatever was out there was going to be cool and it was going to be respectful to Converse. And no one would ever look at like, oh, they're, they're destroying what we built here. My son, who when he heard I was going to work with Converse, he said, because he wore Converse every day of his life, and he's a little bit of a punk too. I'll put it exactly how he put it. He said, I hope you don't fuck it up. <laughs> took a spot that was very near and dear to a lot of people's heart, CBGs, and it was close. It had been closed for over a year, so we didn't, we weren't, we didn't aid that we closed by any means. And I walked by there one day and I saw the location with the front door kind of open, and it had all been torn apart. Everything had been removed pretty much. And I walked in and somebody yelled at me when I was in there, what I was doing in there, and I said, I'm just taking a look to see what it's all about today. And I said, what are you doing with the space? He said, we're trying to lose them. What do you think we're trying to do? And um, I said, well, um, just kind of standing in here, I'm thinking I might be interested in it. And I had never thought about it before that moment. You know, I, I, I have a super big passion for music, you know, in, in reality, in a way more than fashion, you know. But I love the way that I've been able to blend the two together and make them work for us. I'm excited about what, what it's turned out to be, and, you know, I'm proud of it. I really am. Thank you.